Yay. Okay, we're recording. Anybody know how I make, oh, pin video. There we go. Now I'm the big one. Sweet. All right, come to the end of your mat here. Oh, and we're going to take a deep breath up and swan dive forward, walk out into a plank. So we're just going to hold here for a moment. We're going to start with a nice core warm up, nice and slow to begin with. Our first circuit is kind of core focus, is full body, but focusing on the parts of our core, glutes and abs. Keep holding. I'm going to grab my workout here. In our plank, think of your shoulders pulled back down your spine, your glute, glutes are squeezed tight, calves are stretching long. Now we're gonna come down. If you weren't already on your forearms, come down to your forearms and keep holding. If you need to drop to your knees, as we're just getting warm, that's okay. And then we're gonna walk right back up into plank and do that again, leading with the, the opposite arm down, walking into a low plank. And bring it right back up and rock back to down dog. From here, we're going to go into a rolling wave. So pop onto the balls of your feet, tuck your hips under and slowly roll forward, letting the hips side on top of the feet and hold that. And release, tuck the chin and take it back, back into your down dog. Good, now from here, take your right hand, reach up back to your left shin, and come forward to plank. Hold that plank briefly, and then bring it back, left hand to right shin, and back to plank. Back to down dog for one more rolling wave. Pop up onto your heels, tuck your hips, roll forward, uncurl your toes. And back it up, tuck your chin under, and roll back to down dog. Good, now take your right foot, bring it forward outside of your hands. And we're gonna rotate your right hand away, stretching through your thoracic or upper spine, not through the low back. And set your hand back down. One more time, rotate up. And set your hand down. If you need to bring your foot in a little closer, do that. And then we're going to pop up into a high lunge. And rock forward into flight. Enjoy a stretch for your calf here. Good. Bring the arms up one more time. Set the knee down. Frame your foot with your hands. Lift the knee back up and kick it back to down dog. Good. Now bring your left foot to the outside of your hands and rotate your right, I'm sorry, your left hand up. Again, rotating through your thoracic spine. Set your hand down. And one more time, rotate up. And set your hand down, bring your foot a couple inches forward if you need to. And then we're gonna pop up to a high lunge. And rock forward to flight. Enjoy a stretch in your calf. And one more time in the high lunge. And rock forward. Again, bring your hands down to frame your feet. Set your knee down. Slight stretch for your hip flexor. And then bring your knee back into down dog. And slowly walk your hands back to your feet. And come to standing. Roll your shoulders up, back and around. And roll your wrists, get them a little more awake. We're gonna do a nice full circuit here involving your whole body. 
but we will be on the mat, so we want to make sure to wake up our wrists here as we're going to be in plank positions and other varied positions. All right, we are warm and ready to go. So you're going to grab your mat. I mean, I'm sorry, your, well, your mat, but also your weight. Um, for this first circuit, all we're going to be doing with the weights, we are going to be lunging, so it's going to be a weighted lunge with a little balance in there. Um, the only thing we're going to be doing with the weights is a bicep curl. So if you want to go a little heavier, um, you can, but that's totally up to you. And you can always have two sets because um, if you need to sub out. Okay, I need to find a good place to work out. Oh, okay, oops, I need to, sorry, I need to say change my settings so I can get my screen for mine. All right, so we are going to begin in what's called a tick-tock lunge. So what this is going to look like, we're going to stay planted on the right foot for this first part of the circuit, okay? So you're going to grab your weights and both your hands, actually, I'm starting to start later. Grab your weights and both your hands, roll the shoulders back, Engage your lats to keep the weights here. We don't want arch shoulders. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into a forward lunge. Drive through this front heel, pop it up. So there's a little balance here. Engage your core to bring the knee up. Clearly my balance is really bad right now. Then drive the knee back, reverse lunge, pop it up. Now we're gonna go into warrior three. Bring the knee back, or the leg back. Warrior three, these are slow and controlled. This isn't a fast movement. And squeeze the glute to rise. And we're just gonna do it again. Forward to lunge, drive through that front heel. Bring your knee up. And back. Bring your knee up. And warrior three. If you need to modify by tapping your knee down each time, you have that option. I would recommend not doing this on your mat if you are, as it's going to make you very unstable. Really think of consciously engaging your abs as you drive your knee up. Forward. Squeeze your glutes as you come to standing. And we have one more. Good, keeping the weights in our hands, we're going into basic bicep curls. Going to combine these in the next circuit, as I'm sure you can imagine. We're going to tweak it each time, but to begin with, we're starting with basic curls. Looking good. We got three more here. Good. We're going to just squat to set the weights down and Burn out those legs a little more. Come back into lunge. Are we ready? We're gonna jump it out. We've just got 15 seconds here. Power it out. If you need to modify and just step it, that's just fine. You've only got five more seconds. You got it. And done. Jumping jacks. Bringing our heart rate up, flowing seamlessly from one move into the next. Keep going, I gotta read my notes. Good, and high knees. Good, now we're gonna come to the end of our mat here. And we're gonna repeat some of the moves we warmed up with, as well as adding in some more. So come into a walkout. So find your mat and walk out into a plank. Hold a strong plank to begin with. Now, this is a fun little move. It's gonna work everything. 
So what you're gonna do, walk your knees in to what's called quadruped. So your knees should be hovering just a couple inches above the mat. To modify, you're just gonna hold your plank, okay? So hold that quadruped. quadruped. Now using our hands, we're gonna walk back into that extended plank. And then we're going to tap our shoulders. Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. One more, right to left, left to right, good. Now walk back into quadruped, hold here. Feel your quads engage, your core engage. And walk those legs back this time, back into that extended plank. Squeeze your glutes. And rock back to down dog like we did at the beginning. Right hand to left shin. And come forward. Hold. Rock back, left hand to right shin. Come forward. One more time. Right to left. Forward. Left to right. Forward, and we're gonna do that again. So walk the knees into quadruped. Hold. Now walk out into plank, hold briefly, and right hand taps the left shoulder, left hand taps the right. Right to left, left to right. Try to keep your hips from swaying. Take your feet wider if need be. And walk back to quadruped, hold here. And take your feet back, hold plank. And rock back to down dog. Hand to shin, come forward, hold briefly. Rock back. Come forward. One more time, hand to shin. Come forward, rock back, hand to shin. Come forward, give me two scapular push-ups. So what this is gonna look like. Lower down so your shoulder blades come together and push away from the floor. Lower down and push away from the floor. Let your knees come down and flip on over. Whew. Feeling good. We're gonna come on our backs here and come into dead bug. So bring your knees up, hamstring, calves perpendicular. Give me a slight tuck of the hips so your back is flat against the mat. Arms are up for a moment. We're just gonna hold here and dead bug. Feel your back engage flat against the mat, okay? And now we're gonna come into a flex dead bug. So your hands on your quads and flex those muscles hard. Pushing your knees into your hands, your hands into your knees and not feeling a lot of movement, but feeling your core fire up. Breathe through it. Doing good. If you can, for these last seven seconds, lift your head off the mat. Three, two, one, and release. Set the head down, set your feet down. Lift into a glute bridge for a little release. Bring it down and up. And again, down and up. Good, set it down, roll all the way up. And we have another leg. So we're going on the other side. Grab your weights again. And we're gonna repeat all that with a little tweaking for the mat portion, okay? Actually, a little tweaking for the whole portion. Okay, so this time we're gonna keep our left foot stable as we go back and forward in our lunges. So roll your shoulders back with those weights. Stabilize your left foot. Move my toes out of the way. All right. And here we go. Staying on the left foot, forward into lunge. Bring it up, drive your knee up, and reverse lunge. Bring it up, and kick your heel back, slow and controlled, into warrior three. And squeeze your glute, come to standing. Forward, drive your knee up, and back. Good. Slow and controlled on that warrior three. Squeeze your glute to rise. And again, whew. 
Goodness, my balance. Bring your knee up. Consciously squeeze your abs to bring your knee up each time. Never mind that I did this workout just the other day. I am wobbling all over the place. We have two more in each direction. Last one. Good. We're going right back into our basic bicep curls. Got three more here. We're going to turn it into hammer curls. Last one. Rotate the fists in and keep going. You got it. Five more. Woo. Burning out the biceps. Last one. Good. Bend the knees to safely put the weights down. And we're going back into those jump lunges. Set your leg back. And here we go. It's just 15 seconds. Power it out. You got it. Almost there. One more. And done. Butt kickers. If you need to step it out, that's okay, as always. Good, and right into our jacks. Three, two, one. All right, come back to the end of your mat. And we're going through it again. Super long circuit this time. Okay. Find the end of your mat. Walk down. And we're going to walk out. We're going to change it up a bit. Okay. Hold your plank. Walk into quadruped. Hold here. Focus. Draw the navel in. And we're going to walk forward into our long plank. And give me that scapular push up we practiced at the beginning. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Push up. Rock back in the down dog. Hand to shin. And come forward. Scapular push up. And rock back. Push away. Hand to shin. One more time. Scapular push up. Rock back. Hand to shin. Come forward. Scapular push up. Last time. Rock back, hand to shin, come forward, and walk back to quadruped. Hold here, find your stability, and now, instead of a shoulder tap, we're gonna lift our toes just a couple inches off the ground, and tap your hands to your opposite knee. Tap one, two, opposite sides, two, one more, one, two, and step back, extended plank, Rock back to down dog. Hold here. We're going to do that one more time. Come forward to plank. Step into quadruped. Walk to a long plank. Scapular push up. Rock back. Hand to shin. And come forward. Scapular push up. Rock back. Hand to shin. Come forward. Scapular push up. Last time in each side. Rock back. Hand to shin. Come forward. Scapular push up. Rock back. Come forward. 
and step back into quadruped. Knees hovering just a couple inches off the ground. And we're gonna tap, trying to keep our hips from rocking, all right? Right hand to left knee, left to right, right to left, left to right. One more, right to left, left to right, and walk back to down dog. Whew. Doing good, set the knees down and flip over for dead bug. Again, we're just gonna reset in a basic dead bug, arms perpendicular to the ground. Roll out those wrists a little bit. Our core should already feel like it's engaging as we have our hips tucked, our back is flat to the mat. Good, now we're gonna vary it up a little bit. So take your right hand and your left leg and extend it long, squeezing your left glute. Hold here as you squeeze your left glute, it's gonna help you keep your back flat to the mat and exhale to bring it to center. Other side, right hand, left leg, squeezing your right glute, hold briefly and exhale, pull to center. And again, right hand, left leg, keeping your left arm perpendicular to the floor and exhale, pull through center, other side. Exhale, pull through center. Two more on each side. Left arm, right leg. One more. Good, and release, set the legs down, lift into a glute bridge, a little release, and set it down. One more time, set it down, and roll on up. Whew. We're gonna do this one more time on each leg, and then we're moving on with this circuit, all right? So grab those weights if you wanna go heavier. We know the moves now. We know where it's gonna be a little rocky. We know where we can be a little stronger. So if you wanna grab heavier weights, go for it. I think I will. We're going right back into those TikTok lunges. Now, actually, I'm gonna have us set our weight down first. We're gonna practice one set of this new, the variation of the TikTok lunge, okay? So we're gonna have you set the weights down just to get an idea for this movement pattern, okay? So it's mostly the same with a little variation. So planting the right foot, come forward, Pop the knee up, come back, drive that knee up. Now here's where it changes. So you're gonna keep this 90 degree angle as you come forward and feel your hamstring engage as you bend all the way down like you would and bring it up. It's not too much different, but you're gonna feel a little more hamstring engagement as you keep that heel close to your butt, okay? Because it is a little different on balance, we need to not have weights, that's fine, but we are gonna do more bicep curls here, so if you wanna have weights, you can. Okay, so grab those weights, and you, ooh, also, if you have like a playground ball to hold, oh, it wouldn't work actually, I was gonna say squeeze it there, but we have our lunges before we get on. All right, here we go, step forward, and drive it up. Keep those shoulders rolled back, back, Drive your knee up. Now keep the knee bent. Rotate. Squeeze your hamstring to keep the heel to the butt and come to standing. Bring it forward. I hope you felt a little hamstring engagement as you kept that leg flexed. Every time you stand, roll your shoulders back and reset. How are we feeling? Looking good. Woo. Last one. Oh man, I forgot to put the bicep curls in there. Oh well. Set it down. And bicep curls, you lucked out. We were supposed to do them at the top of each movement. 
what I forgot. So we're just gonna burn out here instead. All right, from here, you're gonna bring it up and circle it out. I think we did these last time I taught, but you might not have all been here. Hitting both heads of our bicep with this movement. Good, rotate out. Two more like this, and we're gonna reverse directions. Good, now reverse, circle it, and bring it down. Circle it, and down, whew. Good, three more. Last one, and release. Good job. Squat to set the weights down. And here we go, we're getting good at it now. Not a ton of variation here, we know this movement pattern. Just a slight tweaking, so come on down. Walk it out. Find your plank and set here just a moment, squeeze your glutes, solid plank, and walk into quadruped. Hold. Again, navel is pulled in the spine, your back is neutral, and walk forward. This time, if you need to stick with your scapular push, if you can, otherwise stay on your toes or drop to your knees for a tricep push up, and then rock back, hand to shin, Come forward, tricep push up, rock back, and the shin. One more on each side. Last one. And walk back to quadruped. Hold here, knees a couple inches off the ground. And we're going back to those knee taps. Right to left, left to right. One more on each side, wrap back to down dog. And we're gonna do that all one more time. Rock forward, step into quadruped, come forward, tricep push up, rock back, hand to shin, come forward, tricep push up, rock back, hand to shin, come forward. One more on each side, tricep push up, Hand to shin, come forward, tricep push up, hand to shin, and walk back into quadruped. Last time, hold here, hand to knee, hand to knee, 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 one more. Rock back to down dog, and set your knees down. Whew. Doing amazing, flip on over. Hold on. Okay, it's recording. I thought it said no, and I was like, no! Nah! All right, so we're coming back into our dead back. And we're going with what we did last time. So hold that dead bug, roll your wrists out a little bit. All right, right hand, left leg extends long. Remembering to squeeze your left glute, hovering that leg just above the ground. Exhale, bring it center. Other side. Exhale, pull center. And again, taking this pause gives us the opportunity to reset, make sure we're engaging our full core, bring it to center. Other side. Keep breathing through it. Exhale, pull to center. One more on each side. Pull to center. Last time, arms down and release at the glute bridge. Bring it down and up, down and up for three, down and up for two, last one. Very good, and roll it on up. Our last time with this circuit, come on up. So we're going for our left leg. Grab your weights.
All right, and I will remember our bicep curls this time. If the weight's feeling really heavy and you need to go lighter, that's fine. And here we go. So centering on your left leg, step forward. Bring the knee up, step back, bring your knee up. Now remember, keeping this 90 degree angle, fold it forward, and back up. Step forward, and back, and rock back. Each time you come to standing, roll your shoulders back, reset. Now this time when you seal your warrior three, give me a bicep curl. I guess it's not really a warrior three anymore, but you know what I mean. Seal it and a bicep curl. We have two more. Doing so good. This is a long circuit, I know. Last one. And then we get a break. And seal it and we'll go right back to our bicep curls. Last time. Turn it in for those hammer curls. We're gonna power it out. Opposite arms. You got it. Three more. Two. One. Set it down. And our last set of those jump lunges, all right? Here we go. Woo. And power it out. You got it, come on. One more, and hold back. I know, it's burning, hold. And pulse. Almost done. Three, two, one, jump to the other side, Woo. and hold. Our last time here, you got it. And pulse. Three, two, one, and release butt kickers. Woo. You earned these butt kickers. Woo. You're doing amazing, guys. We are more than halfway through this workout. And jacks. Three, two, one, last time. Come to the end of your mat. We are almost done here. All right, find the ground, walk out to plank. Hold here, remember you always have the option to just hold on your knees or your toes. If quadruped is too much, walk forward into quadruped. Walk forward into plank. Give me one tricep push up, knees or toes. Pop back, hand to shin, and come forward. Tricep push up, and rock back. Just one more on each side. Last one, tricep push up. Rock back, forward to plank. Walk back into quadruped. Last time for knee taps, right to left, left to right. Two more on each side. Last one. And set back and down dog. Bring your knees down and flip it over for our last set of dead bugs. We're gonna mix it up again one more time on these dead bugs. Get a little more oblique focus here. All right, so bring it up in our basic dead bug to begin with. Now, you're gonna take your right hand on your left quad, and you're gonna press that hand and that quad together. 
while you extend your left leg and your right, I'm sorry, your left arm and your right leg, and hold. Squeeze in your glute to keep your back low, and exhale, pull through center. Staying on this side, do it again. Feel your left oblique lighting up. Exhale, pull through center. Do it again. Two more. Pushing your hand into your leg. Last one, you got this. And release. Left hand, right leg. We're almost there. Extend your right arm and your left leg long. Push, push, push. Exhale, pull through center. And again. We're almost done, guys. Two more. Last one. And releasing a bridge. Such a lovely release after dead bugs. Lift and squeeze. And release. Lift and squeeze. We've got two more. Last one. And roll it on up. We are done with our monster circuit. <laughs> Grab a drink of water before we get going into a little bit of cardio. Grab my water, it's right behind here. All right. So before we blast our arms a little more, we're gonna go into a little cardio set. So we're gonna clear a little space. Um, you can use your mat as an idea of um, distance, but you don't actually need a mat for it. My mat's behind me, so I'm not gonna see it because I'm not gonna throw my butt to you guys. But you can use that just for a general idea or just think maybe six feet of space. So we have three moves here. What our three moves are gonna be is side shuffle to touch down. So that's where the mat comes in handy. You're gonna side shuffle, Touch down, side shuffle, touch down. Basic move, lateral movement side to side. Um, our second move is a basic high knee. If you need to step it out, that's fine. But the goal here is to really bring your heart rate up. So if you can power it out, pump those arms, that's what we're going for. And our last move here, if you want to set a weight in front of you or a plate, you don't have to, it's just nice to have something to see. We're going for toe taps, dropping it out, all right? So those are our three moves. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each. After we've done each one one time, we get a 10 second recovery, and we're gonna go back into it for three rounds, okay? So, starting with those side shuffles, we're starting 15 seconds, because then it's on the money and that's easy to keep track. So recover for 10 more seconds here, and then we're starting with the side shuffles, okay? All right, here we go, side shuffle, touchdown, right now. All the way down as you touch down. Alternate which hand you touch down with. Nice and quick here. Halfway through your touchdowns. Doing good. You got three more seconds of touchdowns. We're going into high knees. And done. High knees. Breathe through it. This is core. Nice work, you got 10 more seconds. Then we're going into toe taps. Power it out, pump those arms, let's go. Three, two, one, toe taps. Similar movement, just bring it down a little bit. We're gonna take full advantage of our 10 second recovery here in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Whew. Nice job. All 
All right, we're going right back into side shuffles. Here we go, you got it, guys. I know our heart rate's nice and high. You're doing amazing. You got 10 more seconds here. All right, high knees right now. Keep breathing. You got it. You're halfway through your high knees. And we're going right back into our toe taps. Here we go. You got 15 more seconds. A break is coming in seven seconds. Don't stop now. And recover. Woo. Nice job. On this last set, instead of high knees, we're going into butt kickers. Sticking with cardio, but giving our quads a little release. All right, last time, here we go. You're so close, guys. We're not gonna have any cardio in the next set. So leave it all out right here. And recover butt kickers. Nice little cardio blast. Toe taps starting right now. You got it, guys. Don't quit now, you only have 15 more seconds. I know you got it. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, recover. Woo. Nice job. All right, now, we're going for a little arm pyramid. So while you keep recovering, I'm gonna show you what our three moves are going to be. You know it's a good workout when you're constantly having to fix your ponytail. All right, so we're gonna need both of our weights. You might wanna go not your heaviest, um, because there's going to be a tricep kickback in there. And then the first way, or first exercise, we're just going to hold both our weights together. So you might want medium to heavy. Okay, so first exercise, it's going to be a ribbon. So you're going to take it to one hip. One hip, tuck your hips under so we're not arching here. Hips are tucked under, knees are soft. And we're going to draw a ribbon to bring it to the opposite hip. And back. This is working arms and shoulders, but also cores. We're trying not to lean one way or another. That's exercise one. Exercise number two, we're gonna bend over. Our spine is neutral, shoulders roll back. So we're not hanging on here. Back is strong, navel pulled in the spine. Then we're going into a bent over row. So our palms are turned in, our grip is neutral, guiding with our elbows as we draw back, looking at the floor, not arching our head up, okay? And then our last exercise, once we finish our bent over rows, we're gonna stand up for a quick release for our low back, bend it right back down, and we're going into tricep kickbacks, okay? So those are our three exercises. The way it's gonna work is we're gonna rivet. So we're gonna do 10 of each, and then we're gonna start back with the first exercise 
and do eight of each and so on, okay? So grab your weights and starting with that ribbon, here we go. On my count. So this is two. Four. Core is strong. We're not dancing here. Six. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Bend it over. Back is strong. Soft knees. And ten. We have five more. Last one. Stand up, roll your shoulders back, quick release for the low back, and bring it right back down. And we have 10 tricep kickbacks. All the way back. You got two more, you got it. Last one, good. And bring it up. Now that you know the movement pattern, we're doing eight of each. Those tricep kickbacks are a doozy. If you need to get a little lighter weight, now's your time. All right, right back again. Eight of each in rainbow. I'm sorry, ribbon. Hips are tucked under. We're not arching our back. We want to protect our low back here. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Good. Arch your back. Here we go. Two more. Good. Stand up. Roll your shoulders back and reset. Tricep kickbacks. Last one, and stand tall, good. We're on six this time. Starting with ribbon. Halfway. Last one, good. Now on these bent over rows, we're gonna do alternating arms. We're gonna feel a little more lat engagement, a little more core engagement, all right? Six on each arm, okay? Here we go. Right arm, left. Core is strong. One more on each side. Good, release. And last time with kickbacks, no, not last time, <laughs> into kickbacks, I should say. One more. And stand. These last two rounds are gonna go so quick, okay? Four and then two, all right? Into ribbons, here we go. Tuck those hips. Last one. And bend over. Now this time, single arm row, but when you row back, we're gonna hold for about two seconds, okay? Here we go. Row and hold and release. Hold and release. We're doing four on each side. Two more. Last one. And come to standing, release, and four kickbacks. Extend all the way. Last time. 
and stand tall. This is it, last time we have two of each, okay? Here we go, two ribbons. Quick and easy, bent over rows, again with that hold. One, two, release, one, two, last time. Release, one, two, stand tall, roll the shoulders back, and bring it down for two kickbacks. One, last time, and stand tall. Bend to safely set the knees down, Woo! All right, we have one more little challenge. Nothing crazy, just a balance challenge. Right at the end of a workout because we're already feeling so fatigued. So it's a great time to challenge our balance, okay? All right, so instead of showing you the whole circuit, I'm just gonna have you follow along with me, okay? So we're gonna come into a warrior three. We did these already in the workout. So standing on your left leg, warrior three, your knee, left knee is soft. We're not locking the knee out. Right glute is engaged to lift that knee. Arms are straight. Now we're gonna bend both our right and our left knee, bringing our left knee down. I'm sorry, your right knee down to our left calf, and standing right back up. Whew. Already should feel the stabilizing muscles around your ankle on fire. Do it again. Bend and squat down, and stand back up. One more time. Squat down, Whew. stand back up, and release. Quick and easy to begin with. Other side. So standing on our right leg, find your balance, come into warrior three. And bend both knees, bringing the left knee down to the right quack, hanging on top, and stand it right back up. Again, bring it down, find your balance, and step it right back up. Last time, squat down, bend both knees, stand up. Warrior three, Whew. and set it down. How's that? I was wobbling all over. Shake out your ankles. And one more little bit of balance, plus a little stretching. Whew. Okay, so we got pretty good at this first move. Bring your knee up like we did in the workout, and rotate it out. So you're gonna feel your side glute, your medial glute engage to bring your leg out. Dear. Hope you can see this okay, I'm like blending in with the fireplace here. Now, we're gonna stretch this leg long and come into half moon. So your stretched leg, your lifted leg is pointing forward and you're leaning down, finding whew, the floor, if you can find your balance which at the beginning of the workout you probably could have, but now it's a whole lot harder. Good, and set that leg down, come into warrior two. So that back leg is still pointing forward, front bent leg is pointing out, and stretch along here. Good, rotate your back toes forward, and lift up in that lunge we did at the beginning. And fold forward into flight. And we're gonna lift up and try it again. So hold here, slowly squeeze your glute to rotate out. And rotate behind. Coming into half moon, slowly. <laughs> If you can, squeeze the glute of your extended leg. It will help you find your balance. And set that leg down Ooh. into warrior two. So your back leg is stretched long. Front leg is in a lunge position. And rotate your back toes forward. And reach up and away. Come forward into flight, enjoy a stretch in your calf, your back leg. Is 
Step the toes forward, flat back, fold in half. Bend your knees and slowly come to standing. Ooh, lean back. Reach your arms out wide. And we're gonna do it again on the other side. All right, so this time standing on your right leg, bring your knee up, engaging your medial glutes. Squeeze that leg out and rotate it back, slow and controlled, half moon pose. Finding your, the floor, Ooh. rotate out. And set that back leg down, warrior two. Rotate your back toes forward, Ooh. back into your lunge, lean back and away. And come forward. Good, pop that knee up again. We'll do it one more time. Engage your glutes, squeeze out to the side. Rotate back. With control, your foot is still pointing out, not rotating the toes backwards. And set those toes back. Warrior two. Not an easy balance set at the end of our workout, but it's good to challenge ourselves. Rotate your toes forward and lean back and away. Maybe come forward. And step your toes forward one more time, fold in half. Flat back. And then just hang out here, fold in half. Let your arms hang. And then bend your knees slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, come to standing. Good. Take one arm behind, quick tricep stretch. And other side. Good, lift your right leg up behind you, release your quads. Worked them really hard today with all that lunging and squatting. Hold your leg over, and sit down. Ooh, that feels so good. Come on up, other side, bring your leg back. Thanks for being good sports with all the technology issues. Hold it over. I hope you still enjoyed the workout even if it ran a little late. Good, seal it on the ground. Take one more deep breath up. And take a moment to be grateful oh, for the ability to move our bodies. You guys are so strong. I'm so grateful for the chance to work out with you tonight and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Ooh, Thanks, Anna. You're welcome. Ah, got me sweating. Good, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. See ya Thursday. Or All Wednesday. Right, sounds good. Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks.